Hi, I'm Stefania Chaplin, and as part of the DevSecOps Delivered series, I'm going to show you how to fix a critical security vulnerability within your IDE. You can see here I have Eclipse, and if I click in the bottom on the Component Info tab, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, what we have here is a software bill of materials for all of the components within the application. You can see Common View Needles is slightly greyed out, so that means it's a transitive dependency. And then I have these colours. So we've got red, orange and blue. Red means there is a critical violation of company policy, and blue means there are none. If I have a look at Commons Collection, for example, when I click on, we get all this enriched metadata. So I've got GAV, licensing, and then I've got these nine, security threat. That means there is a known and documented security vulnerability out there. And the policy is what my company thinks of it. When I click on the view details button, what I can see is even more information. You can see here, security high. This is an example policy that my company has set up with a high risk CVSS score. So that means a common vulnerability scoring system between zero and 10. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Heartbleed from a few years ago, that was only a five. So anything higher than a seven is gonna be even worse. I have information around licensing, so you can see here it's liberal. But when I look at security issues, remote code execution. Now you're speaking a language that I, the developer, understand. And I know I don't want to use a component that leaves me at risk of this. So how do I fix it? Going back here to the bottom, I have this histogram. Along the bottom, version history, so 1 to 2 to the current version 3.21. Red triangle is security vulnerability. So that's a known and documented vulnerability and licensing. Blue, liberal, already not so good. And then green is popularity based on total downloads from Maven Central. If I click to this version, 3.22, there's no red, blue, and still a lot of green. And all of a sudden, my red nines disappeared. So when I click on view details, policy violations, none. My company does not have a problem with it. Security issues, none. There are no known and documented security vulnerabilities. So this is the version that I want to use. If I click down here on this migrate button, you can see it dynamically updates the POM from 3.2.1 to 3.2.2. I would obviously always re recommend regression testing because even with a 0.1 change, there may be some <laughs> unknown changes. And when I click on finish, all of a sudden, this red becomes a blue. And within a couple of minutes, we have fixed a critical security vulnerability within the IDE.